Come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks and sit with me and we're going to chat a little bit today. Okay, thank y'all. Come on in, y'all. Come on in, y'all. Come on in, y'all. Let's say prayers. Father God, I just want to say thank you again. 10,000 times, you just can't thank you enough. Thank you for opening up doors no man can close and closed doors no man can open. Oh, thank you for blessing seen and unseen. Oh, my God. Oh, bless this food to be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Y'all, we have some air fried chicken, a whole chicken, that is. I did a video. We have some dirty rice and we got the old school field peas and snap beans, y'all. So, I got the Louisiana right on the side should I want that. Let's do this. Uh, oh, we got to do a toast. Let's do this uh, timer. Uh, yeah, thank y'all for coming back every single time. Salud, salud. Let's sip, sip this good water. Cheers, y'all. Mm -hmm. So let's dig in. Uh, I think I might want some hot sauce on my on my chicken, maybe. Or even in my field peas. But, uh, yeah, how y'all doing today? Thank y'all for coming in. How was church today? Y'all want some of this dirty rice? Because it's dirty. There you go. Yum, yum, give me some. Mm. Oh, God. Mmm. Y'all, y'all know the weekend go by two dollars on fast. Mmm. That's good. I think I'm out with some hot sauce though. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Woo! The hot. We're gonna talk about uh the matchmaking event. Y'all, I just know I'm gonna waste something. Y'all want some field peas? Snap beans. There you go, y'all. Let's taste it. Because they're out of a can. They're not fresh. Let's see what they taste like. Mmm, hot. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Thank you, Glory. Mmm. That's really tasty, y'all. But I did uh, put butter in the pan and soften up some onion and bell pepper and garlic and celery uh, before I pulled the can in. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. All right. Now, without ado, let's do the chicken. Let me, uh, oh, this is going to be messy. Let me get a, uh, paper towel. Take that, y'all. That's a thigh. I fried, y'all. It is so freaking juicy. I, I was going to put it in the in the uh, oven, and I'm thinking, like, no, it's too hot for that oven. Air fryer, y'all know I love my air fryer. <laughs> I want to try some other things in the air fryer, y'all. Mm. This is so good. Mmm. Oh my God. All that butter. Oh, it's hot. It's oh, hot. Mm. That I put under the skin all down, wherever it can go. Massaging. Massage. Don't forget to massage your bird. Mm. This is good. And it's so, it's so soft and tender, y'all. Mmm, that's hot. Y'all want a y'all want a piece? Y'all can have a piece. Wait a minute, let's get the skin out the way. That's hot. It's hot, y'all. Mmm. Oh goodness, here you go, y'all. Yes, take a bite, honey. 
It's good and juicy. I normally don't put this much in my mouth, but let's do it. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, that's good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I want some of this skin, y'all, because that's why all that seasoning on. Mm. Oh, that's good. My goodness. You know, one thing about it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. When you do air fryer, it don't stay uh, crispy long, but it's still good. So maybe it's kind of like rotisserie. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Y'all don't forget to pray for broken marriages and the sick and shut in. Mm -hmm. So. Now, y'all have, y'all, I haven't even opened up that hot sauce. That means this food is really good. But I'm about to put some on my chicken. <laughs> on my chicken, that is. Let's talk about it, y'all. Live matchmaking event yesterday. It was from 5 to 6 p.m. I had some ladies to come through. My supporters, thank y'all. Each and every one of y'all, thank you. No men. So I said, well, maybe 5 to 6 p.m. It's really early. So I changed the time for the live matchmaking for 8 to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. So let's see what next Saturday is going to bring us. But for all you guys that uh came to the live thank you but don't forget to share your hood girl out mm-hmm I posted a new short video this morning and uh with the new time so if y'all see it can you share it out for me mm-hmm I don't know if people are scared to come on panel and do it live. If, if people, you know, just used to the online dating, I don't know, but try something different, honey, because, uh, you know, when it's live, huh, hmm, to see some things. So come on, y'all. My single people, that is. Don't continue to swipe to the left. Come on. Come on live, men and women, so you can show yourself to the others. Uh -huh. mm. This is good. Really good. Y'all, look at that. Hmm. I do take you some. That thigh is good and so soft. It's just hot, y'all. Mm. But it's good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. <laughs> Woo, honey. I'm glad I know how to cook. Y'all, uh, yesterday, I was at the store um the grocery store that is and you know i go in the store i have my list honey i go i, I follow my list and i do what i do i pay attention to only me and i got a lot of compliments about my hair from you know uh some of the customers that were in the store There, I went down the aisle because it was close. That was the aisle straight to the cashier, but you know the self checkout that is. And this guy was working on his cart, a towel guy. I never saw him when I came in, and I did not see him when I was going out. That's how I got don't pay attention. Uh, I mind my own business. So he stopped me and he said. 
you look very beautiful today. So I looked at him at him. I said, well, thank you. I think you're kind of handsome. So he said, uh, do you come here often? I said, well, no, not really, but I do come. And I said, who are you to the store? He said, I'm a manager. I've been married for, a manager for three years. I was like, oh, okay, that's nice, but I've never saw you. So he said, are you married? I said, no, I'm not. He said, can I get your number? Maybe we can talk sometime. I said, sure you can. And I looked over, I said, uh, are you married? He said, no, I'm not married. And so I said, okay. So I gave him uh, the correct spelling of my first name and uh, my phone number. And he put it in his phone. And then I started to walk off and then I, I got a thought. And I turned around, I said, can I tell you something? And he, he was walking fast to me. I said, you know, um, when people give out their numbers today, you know, you get a person's number and you go home and you think about it and you, you, you know, you ask the question, how fast should I call? I say, don't let that stop you. Just call when you want to call, right? But normally, when I meet a man, and they ask me for my number and I give it to them. They immediately call my phone and say something like, uh, uh, save my number or that's me calling. Uh, you can call me too or something. But he didn't do that. Is that a red flag? Because shit, I don't know. Mm. That was yesterday. He still have a call. <laughs> so I don't know. You know, dating is different. Courtship and getting to know some people are, it's just a hard, hard work. You got to be dedicated <laughs> to want to meet some people. I ain't going to give up. I mean, not for him, but for my companion. Because uh, one thing I know in this dating world, if you want a partnership, um, a marriage, a dating ship, a courtship, a ship, ship, and a ship, ship, whatever ship you want to get on, you got to be dedicated to, to try to get on the damn ship. <laughs> That's all I can say, y'all. But, so I thought, well, maybe because he's the manager, he has to stay late at the store. Who knows? Then I said, well, maybe, um... He put the number in wrong. I don't think so. And then I was like, he may not be married, but he he, he was a tall, pretty nice, good looking dude. Short, little, little bitty eyes. But uh, it still was easy to look at. Uh, his teeth looked pretty good. I was like, well, he might, he might, you know, be occupied with someone. Who knows? Who knows these days? Isn't that a headache? <laughs> mm-hmm. But I know there's somebody for everybody. That's one thing. These, uh, this is good. It's old school stuff, child. These peas and beans are good, so I'm gonna have to keep these on the menu. Mmm. -hmm. Y'all, we are in April already. Before you know it, it's gonna be half of the year. I'm telling y'all, we got more days behind us than we have in front of us. You got to. Get into your zone, find yourself, love yourself, do what you want to do to make you happy, and live out loud. You do. Yeah. You know, know who your spirit man is, you know? Child. You just got to know, learn, you. And y'all heard me say this before. The only way you can know you and learn you, your, your weaknesses, your love, something that you love that you're not going to waver, your passion, what you're passionate about. Mm-hmm. You got to uh, get into a quiet space. 
without your phone and meditate five, ten minutes a day. Learn you and learn what God put you on the world for. I'm an encourager for him. That's me first of, of, of everything. You got to learn that, y'all. You'll be happy when you do the right jobs. Mm-hmm. You know, my job is interviewing people. Every day, all day, for different positions. That's a time for me to encourage people. And I do it, y'all. I do it. And, you know, when the spirit is, is on point, they know. And they always say something. And then after they said it, they, you know, it's like, whoo, that God thing just come out of me, y'all. Mm-hmm. I tell you, I get some beautiful emails about my interviews that I do. I get some shout outs on the lab, on the job board. It's beautiful. But you got to know who you are. You got to know your assignment from God. And not just know it, but you got to do it. You know, give him the glory. And things just fall in place, y'all. Seen and unseen. Mm -hmm. Seen and unseen. That's good. Y'all, normally I throw the neck away. You know, I put this neck on my plate. I'm going to be sucking it. Y'all know I love... You know what? The last time I did my... I haven't did the turkey necks here in the new place, y'all. Mm-hmm. I think my next time off, I think it's on the 22nd of April, I'm going to the hood and give me some necks. Low ball some, smother some. Mm-hmm. And that's all I'm going to get. I'm going to get about 20 pounds of turkey necks. Mm. I'm getting full. I'm going to say I got like five minutes, y'all. Say nothing else, door. Mm -mm. You know, when I see other people um, eating the chicken, they can chew them gristles, and I just can't do it, y'all. Stuff my mouth, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. Mm. I keep taking that breath. I want some of this skin. Mm. These are really good. Mm. I should have got two cans of these. 
I only got one can, and then I drained the uh, uh, one can of green beans and added it. That's good. That's good. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. That's it. Let me cancel this timer. Hmm. That was a good Sunday meal. Mm hmm. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for coming. My new subscribe. I mean, my new subscribers. My new lookers on. <laughs> If you like the video, don't uh, forget to subscribe before you leave. Thumbs your hood girl up. Share out the uh, live matchmaking event, if you will. And not just share it out. Spread the word. Come on, y'all. Let's do this together. Y'all ready to sing? I'm ready. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to show y'all something right quick before I leave. Look what I got from my sister. My favorite candy. Mm, it's a lot of it. Huh? Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher. Now y'all know my favorite candy. And Lindor's in the red. Yeah. Let's sing. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance around on the other side. So whatever y'all do for the rest of this day, do it good, do it with purpose. I got some things in my teeth, y'all. Don't call me y'all. I can feel it. <laughs> and do it with genuine love. Mm, I love y'all. 